So the biggest feature of Android N is a new multi-window capability. Now yes, we've seen this within Android before, but this is through custom skins such as TouchWiz. So it's great to see that Google is finally bringing this feature into the next official version of Android. Now what's really cool is that you can resize the window space that each app takes up. Now keep in mind, the app will need to be updated to support this new API. So not every app is going to work with the new multi-windowing capability. Also, it's a little buggy at the moment. As you can see, video playback doesn't really work while trying to do a multi-window, but I'm sure that's something that will be fixed by the time Android N is officially released. Black is back. So Google brought back, or I should say introduced, a new night mode within Android N. Now, if you recall, the settings menu used to be a grayish black color way back in the frail days. But with Lollipop, they made everything, well, really white. <laughs> So it's great to see that they brought back this night mode that makes it a lot easier on your eyes if you're viewing the settings menu in a dark room or at nighttime, and it's just a lot more comfortable to look at. So if your display does not look as good as what you would like, you can go within System UI Tuner and calibrate the colors. This is good on devices like the Nexus 6P that has a very warm display. Now another feature of Android N, which is very subtle, is an update to a notification tray. As you can see, notifications now expand the full width of your screen, which presents you with more information. Also, you can now add, edit, and remove quick toggles. And this has always been a feature within Android custom ROMs, but again, it's great to see this within the next official version of Android. Another update to the settings menu is the navigation. You also have the option of expanding the navigation from the side and jumping in and out different categories. So this reduces the number of taps that you have to do. In addition, if you go into settings menu, you'll notice how it now presents you with more information. So if you go to battery, you'll see your battery percentage without actually having to going into the power settings. Or if you look at memory, you can see how much RAM you have available, again without having to actually tap into the category and look at it. So it's very subtle, but I like how it presents you more information without having to actually go into the category. And at the top, it provides you with suggested things that you should do. So like, it suggests me to set up my fingerprint scanner for better security. And finally, another very minor and subtle update is to the multitasking window. As you can see, the card display is now larger and takes up more width, and probably something that not a lot of people will notice, but it's still useful to point it out. So guys, there you have it. Those are some of the top new features of the Android N developer preview. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to Twitter and follow me at DaveBen. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.